Little Coo I found. Hi, this is on. Good morning. John and I are together. No longer solo men. <laughs> Thought I'd show you how I fill up with water. Um, it's pretty much standard. Um, but first off, I'll show you what I've done underneath. It's a manifold system I got from uh, just a, a hose one from Bunnings. Have a look. Yeah. Just a four, four way. This one's not being used at all. Use that for future uh, reference. But you've got tank one, tank two, tank three, and this goes to the pump. And how I fill is I've tapped in the line to the pump. So it's coming from the front. I'll show you that in a minute. Goes in there, and then what because the pump's virtually one way valve, it's not going to go up through the pump. I'm going to come back down go through the manifold system and then each tank well, I'm filling up now so I'll open up all tanks fill all the tanks up when one overflows I just turn that tank off and as you can hear it's gurgling away now at the front here see, it's just the tap coming the hose coming off the that T from the pump through the tap now just click in the filter and the hose from whatever the a normal tap a um, the bladder which I will show you how I set that up as well real easy I think the bladders are better than having to carry around multiple water jerrys it's just um, they're just big and bulky whereas the bladders you can fill them up and um, just empty them out when you when you need to and um, and then just roll them up and pack what they take no space at all so uh, I think bladders are a better way to go than the jerry cans my opinion however you want to do it it's up to you um, but I'll set that up and show you how that works actually I'll keep it in the back of the car but when I need it, I just put in behind the front seat, just like that, and then, yeah, and then all I do is just go to the hose, drawing them up, open, open that tap up, so it doesn't fill with air. Make sure the hose is primed before the first, otherwise you'll fill your bladder up with air. And you just sit and watch it until it gets full. There you go. Hey, it's getting a bit full now. So I just, because those taps aren't that crash hot, I just kink the hose. There, there you go, the tap just popped off. Turn it off. Alright, then you just turn your pump on. You just get a little one like that. 
if you need any one if you want to make sure your taps on and then you see me fill a system before turn it on and that's it away you go yeah, and then you just wait for the bladder to empty or your um, tank to start overflowing change on to the next one see now my bladder is just a 60 litre one just a drifter one that I got because I needed it at the time but you can get different sizes like 60 80 get 100 litres that sit right across the um, uh, footwell of the car so but even if you've got kids it's fine because you, you only use it when you need it so when you're if you're out and about and you need to use it roll it out kids can put their feet on it not a problem at all and then when you're finished with it roll it up store it away once it's done let's turn the tap off disconnect it i'll put the tap off is so no air goes back in and fills it up and creates mold and whatever but just before i roll it back up i'll open that roll it up take more air out of it and then close it up again put it away done well that's that's it really yeah. to me using the bladder is much easier option than having to carry around a whole heap of jerry cans you don't really need to um it's extra extra bulk and um yeah to me the water bladders are better and Well, just got off the phone from Sylvia and she's going to be visiting in the next few days. So what do you do when you're living by yourself for a while and the wife decides to come up and have a visit? Well, it's not too bad, but I better do a bit of a clean around the place it's not too bad but I better make it Sylvia proof huh? Ah, alright here we go And done. I think she'll be happy with that. Although, I remember once the old man said, a guy can clean over everything and be spotless. A woman will come over and go over it again, no matter what. So, I'm happy with it. Sylva will be happy with it. She'll appreciate it. I'm sure she will. And um, yeah, so, Tomorrow, she's turning up. Woohoo! <laughs> Good morning, happy, happy Thursday. Um, just had to go for a quick trip to the airport. Look who I found. Hi, this is Anne. Good morning. John and I 
Tracy's homemade sourdough pizza base. <laughs> That's the best. While well, we've been at um, Tracy and Andrew's place, we've been having a pizza night. And they've got this thing called the uni, which is this one. And to show you how quick it is, we've got a Raw pizza. Yeah. Here we go. There it is in there. Got the fire happening up top. Okay. Now this is actually yeah. not spread up. I'm keeping it real. So we've got the, the pellets actually going there. There's the pellets. And the fire goes there. It works like a rocket stove. So the flames go up there, the airflow goes up and up the stack. And it is hot as hell. Well, as you can see, that little bit of a torque. Quick spin. Already had a bit of a burn spot on it. But it smells pretty good. But this is um, working really well. So if you want a quick pizza night, this is the thing to, to have. One minute. Hot pizza. One hundred percent. One minute. You've got yourself a hot pizza. That's the one. We'll see very, very shortly. <laughs> well, as you can see, we've just been talking. and just been haven't been sped up or anything like that. And here we go. Look at that. Absolute. Near perfection so far. It's going to put some more um, wood pellets in. They look like um, chook food. Look at this. There you go. Open it up. Just gravity fed. He's actually Russian because he's not, well, Andrew's not Russian. He's just hurrying up. There you go. Another probably 15 seconds. Absolutely. These are good. It'd um, be good if you had the space in the in the caravan. Patio friendly. But um, carrying it around full time for us wouldn't be... 10 kilos. Just, well, there you go. 10 kilo. 10 kilos that way. So if you've got 10 kilo spare, you're laughing. There you go. Pizza done. Done. So how long did that take? What's well, a minute? Well, Two minutes, if that. Uh, Where the recording is. That? Absolutely. Beautiful. There we go. The uni pizza oven. <laughs> 